This video is about wages. And we're going to be looking at different a couple of different types of wages here. We're going to be looking at just flat rates. We're going to be looking at where you get things like overtime. And then we're going to be looking at how to play around with timesheets. So here we go. First thing we're going to be having a look at is flat rates. Now the example here is I've got a guy who's getting a flat rate of $18.90 an hour. What's meant by a flat rate is it doesn't matter how many hours you work, it doesn't matter if you work 1, 10, 100 hours, you're still getting paid the same amount per hour. Okay, so Dan here gets his $18.90 per hour. Now on Monday, he works 5 hours. Tuesday, for 4 hours. Wednesday, he works 7 hours. Thursday, he works 4.5 hours. And on Friday, he works 6.5 hours. So, we're going to have to total up Dan's hours for the week here. So to do that, what we do is we just add all these together and we get a total of 27 hours. Okay, now we have to work out how much Dan's going to get for that week's work. So what we do is we multiply the hours worked by the pay rate. So the hours worked is 27 hours by the pay rate of $18.90 an hour. So Dan for the week will get $510.30. And that's how you play around with flat rates of pay. It's pretty easy. Just multiply the hours worked by the pay rate. The next thing we're going to have a look at is where overtime starts to come into the equation. Now, the example here is where you get this guy Jason's working a normal week of 35 hours. Now, for any time over this, he's getting paid time and a half. What this means is that... This T1.5, it's a, it's a shorthand way of writing time and a half. It means he's going to get one and a half times his normal pay. Okay? So if he works one hour over for that one hour, he's going to get an extra one and a half times as what he usually actually gets. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Now, if he, if Jason here gets paid $24.50 an hour, we can work in how much, say, he'd get paid at time and a half because we get this $24.50, and we multiply it by... 1.5. So for time and a half, Jason here would get $36.75. Now, we could work with an example where Jason, say, works for 40 hours and we can work at how much he'd get paid. So the first thing I'd do is I'd be working out what he'd get for the normal rate. Now, for 35 hours, which is his normal hours, he's getting paid $24.50. So altogether, Jason's getting $857.50 for that time. For overtime, which is T1.5, Jason's worked five hours, okay, the five hours left from the 40 hours, and he's getting $37.75 an hour. So for this, he's getting $187.50, okay, and all up you can see with the hours there, 35 hours normal, five hours overtime, he's worked 40 hours, okay, now to work out what he gets paid, we just total these together. So, this gives us $1,045. And that's how you play around with overtime. Sometimes you're going to get things like double time. That's maybe where you're working a public holiday or maybe some day on the weekend. Okay, and all this means is you're getting double your rate of normal pay. Okay, to work it out, just multiply your normal rate of pay by two. Okay, now what we're going to have a look at is filling in pay sheets. This is a pretty standard looking pay sheet here. What you'll see is at the top it has the conditions. Okay, ordinary hours are paid seven hours a day, extra hours. Each day are paid time and a half, Saturdays pay double time. Then what it has is a time sheet that's been filled in from Monday all the way through to Saturday. Okay, you'll see with the times, there's an in and out, in and in and out. That's from where the person goes in in the morning, has a lunch break, okay, goes back from lunch and then home time. And it has a daily total, how many hours are worked ordinary hours, overtime, double time, and then where we do all the working out down the bottom. So we'll start working out through this to get you used to how to fill these in. Alright, the first thing I'll draw your attention to is the conditions. What you'll notice is that ordinary hours are paid at 7 hours a day. And they've just been shaded in, in yellow. The next thing you'll see is that extra hours after over these 7 hours are paid time and a half. On Saturdays, you get paid double time. Okay, so what I'd do to start this working this out is I'd start going through from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I'd start working out how many hours have been worked per day. 
To do this, we have to look down at the actual sheet here. So in the morning, this person came in on Monday morning at 8.30 and worked through to 12 o'clock. Now, the amount of time here that's passed is three and a half hours. So I'd just write that in. Then they came back in from lunch. From 12.45 to 5 o'clock, they worked. So altogether, this part, they worked four and a quarter hours. Okay, now for the total, the total, the daily total, what you do is just add these together. So it's three and a half plus four and a quarter is seven and three quarters of an hour they work. Now ordinary hours is seven hours. If you can relate to the conditions up there, ordinary hours are seven hours a day. Extra hours each day are paid as time and a half. So three quarters of an hour on this day is paid as time and a half. Next off, we'll have a look at Tuesday. Okay, from 8.15 to 12 o'clock, there were three and three quarter hours worked. From 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock, four hours. So all up to seven and three quarter hours. Ordinary hours are seven hours. Time and a half is any time over this. On Wednesday, from 8.30 to 12 o'clock, there were three and a half hours worked. Then in the afternoon, from 12.45 to 5 o'clock, there were four and a quarter hours worked. All up, there were seven and three quarter hours worked. So, ordinary hours are seven. Overtime, which is time and a half, is three quarters of an hour. On Thursday, in the morning, there were four and a half hours worked, from 8 o'clock to 12.30. And then in the afternoon, from 1.15 to 6 o'clock, there were four and three quarter hours worked. So all together there was nine and a quarter hours worked. Seven of these hours are ordinary hours. This time there's two and a quarter hours over time. Okay, on Friday there were four hours worked in the morning. In the afternoon there were five and a half hours worked. Okay, so all together there were nine and a half hours worked on Friday. Again, seven hours are ordinary hours, but this time there's going to be any time over, so it's just two and a half hours are going to be overtime. On Saturday, you may remember, Saturday is paid double time. So from nine o'clock to one o'clock is four hours. And this goes straight over in the double time. So now you've worked out how many hours have been worked for each day, and you've worked out which ones are overtime, which ones are time and a half, which ones are double time. So we have to get totals here. For ordinary hours, there's been 35 hours worked. I've just totaled 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. If we total all the time in half hours, we get 7 hours. For double time, we get 4 hours. Now what you'll see here is that the standard rate per hour is $12.90. So to work out the ordinary hours, they've worked 35 hours, and we multiply that by this $12.90. Okay, the rate of pay, which equals $451.50. Now, overtime, time and a half, was seven hours. Now, this is going to be one and a half times normal pay, which is twelve ninety. So we're going to multiply seven by one and a half times twelve ninety, which gives us an answer of a hundred and thirty five dollars and forty five cents. On Saturday these people worked four hours and they got paid twice the amount. Okay, twice the amount of twelve dollars and ninety cents. So four times two times twelve ninety is one hundred and three dollars twenty. So altogether how much did these people earn per week? Well we'd actually actually add this up now. So 451.50 plus 135.45 plus 103.20 gives us a total of $690.15. So that's how you play around with these timesheets. It's very important you get used to playing around with the uh, numbers and the amounts and all these terms when you're getting paid. Okay, It's very, very important, obviously. You like to get paid the right amount of money. So I hope you go work well with that. Okay. Bye.